I remember back to when I was around 30 years old and we were, digital signal processing was new, microprocessors were new, and this was a time that was coming out of the transistor and the small integrated circuit era. And I happened to be introduced to Dr. James Early. Now I thought Early, or, and then I recalled the Early effect. This was a guy who helped invent transistors. And I, I looked at him and I said, Dr. Early, it is an honor to meet you. I said that with digital signal processors now and microprocessors, I said, this really has to be the best time to be an electrical engineer. You know what that man said to me? He said, I was saying the same thing 25 years ago. Ah, that was such a perfect answer. The fact is this field has never stopped to impress. Today, you can specialize in the most narrow areas, artificial intelligence, you can go hardware, you can go software, you can go anywhere, and you can be a generalist because you can get such high-level componentry in very small boards. Those are all available from DigiKey. We got a one and a half million parts stocked and we'll ship them to you overnight. So it, it's, it's a wonderful time to be an engineer. What I think Germany is doing right is that they have a blend it between the hands-on, the know-how, and the theoretical. So you can choose to go technical and not at all be embarrassed that you do not have the PhD, the terminal degree in electrical engineering. There is pride in knowing how to build things. And I think that that is something in the German culture. Uh, the, the way their cars operate, the cutlery, it's, it's all high quality steels, it's, it's the, the cars have fantastic suspensions. And so I think that there's a general respect for technical know-how that I think that in some of the other Western cultures, it's, it's more about entertainment and sports, unfortunately. I could call myself an electrical engineer, or I could call myself a, an analog engineer, maybe an RF engineer, in all cases, I'm, I'm going into a smaller specialty. A system and package isn't confined by the physical uh, uh, problems of a given semiconductor technology. In fact, I can put an RF alongside a highly sensitive analog to digital converter, alongside a, a, a noisy microprocessor. There's different die, but they're mounted in the same pack. We sell parts that customers use to make RF, they have the expertise to design at the lowest level, yet those same companies will buy modules. And so you wonder, why do they do that? And I think what it amounts to is, you have to have a, a sufficiently high volume to justify going down that low. And so, it might be that we're just defining the term wrong. The fact is, more and more technology is coming to the world, more and more people are using it and accessing it, maybe we've got fewer specialists per capita.